Uh. Hello, hello, welcome everyone. I'm glad you're here. I haven't gone live in a bit, so I'm excited to be back. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Yeah, you saw me cleaning. My, uh, I realized I had glue all over my glasswork surface, so yeah. I don't clean often, but this glasswork surface I keep spotless. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. So today we have a lot to share. I have one of my favorite people who comes on here a lot because I adore having him. I have Greg from Concord and Ninth. And today he's gonna teach me a really cool card design. I'm gonna create along with him, show some variations. Um, last week I went live with JC, who is um, one of my favorite card makers, and he taught me um, some techniques. I really liked that idea of you know two people crafting together and one kind of sharing something. So Greg is going to show me all the ways today. I think it's especially good when somebody who designs products teaches something too. So we got lots in store. Let's bring Greg in. Can you do that, Mike? I'm not smart enough to do that. Let's see if we can bring him in. Hopefully he doesn't run away. There he is. Hey, how's it going, Jennifer? <laughs> Welcome again. Thank you. This Can you like, hear me this, okay? Yes. This is like your home I, away from home, right here on the online with is. me. <laughs> it is. Um, and I'm here in my like new setup studio. Actually, yes. I, I, I don't know if Mike told you, but I was talking with him the other day. He helped me get this new setup going. So I feel like I feel like a rock star right now in this this new <laughs> new setup I've got here. So. Quite, quite the rock star. You, you know, you always had a good uh, setup anyways, but now it's perfect. Thanks, thanks. Um, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having yes. me. Um, I actually love doing lives with you because like you, I like you love an, a nicely engineered card and that's kind of like, I don't know, that's my, that's what gets me excited about card making as well. It's just how can a card be engineered and what different ways can you like play around with like, a traditional card to make it sure. just something a little different. So that's kind of what I'm here for today. I, okay. Jennifer was like, "Like, why don't you teach me something for a change, Greg?" So um, here we <laughs> no, go. No, that's not what this I is... said. <laughs> no, it's, no, I like I like what you said though about JC though. Like, it's fun. It's fun to like switch the gears a little bit and yeah. um, go into like an instructional mode. That's actually kind of like, I'm usually just here for a good time, but like, mm -hmm. but I'm excited today to actually share some things um, for those in the chat that may completely not know that I also know how to card make and craft and stuff too. She like does. I think some people are like, are we ever going to see Greg do anything? <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, so I'm going to, hopefully share a few insights into some fun things that we've been playing around with here at Concord 9th. And Jennifer and I have been swapping photos of yes. these things we've been working on. So anyways. Um, and thanks to Greg. I get into it? Or? Well, thanks to Greg. He has now officially designed the graduation card that I'm going to give to all of my son's friends this year. We're going to show it today. This is, this is it. We've designed it. I, I'm, you've designed it. I'm very it's excited. It's a fun one. It is. It's a it really is. fun, and it's so fun to see familiar names in the chat. Just like I'm just seeing some fun names. Like I'm seeing yes. Betsy in there, Kathy, Erica Hayes, um, Shari Moss is there. Yep. I, I'm seeing a lot of names that like I Linda Gorman. So kind of fun to see yes. people hopping in there. Hi everybody. Um, yes, I made a really fun card um, for Colin, and um, I just learned something interesting actually about Sycamore High School. Yeah. My brother, Nick, that you know, mm -hmm. his college roommate went there. That's his alma mater. No way. So, How yeah, funny. pretty wild. Yeah, he's from, he's from that area, and he went, he went there as well. Small so world. He's a little Small older. A little bit, a um, little bit. Well, this is going to be <laughs> um, fun because I think one of the best ways you can learn how to use products is to learn from the people who are, you know, behind making them. So this is uh, very exciting. I'm excited. So All right. Greg is well, going to kind of teach and I'm going to kind of walk through it with him. So you'll see both of us creating at the same time. Hopefully. Yep. And <laughs> I hope everybody's not overwhelmed or underwhelmed. I just hope we're all just whelmed <laughs> today with, with what I'm about to show. 
Um, I'm going to switch to my overhead and show you guys. This is new for me, guys. The overhead camera setup. Drum right, roll. So, Look at that. All right. Yeah, there we are. Look, we're twinning. Um, yes. So I made this really fun slimline card. So we just had a recent release. One of our new bundles is called Best Friend Vibes. I'm going to pull that on just for those who don't know what it is. Um, so it's a, it's a predominantly die um, bundle, but then there is a supporting um, stamp set with an alphabet um, that can cut out all of these beads. It basically cuts out beads that look like those really trendy, they're trending again. I mean, they're classic, but they're trending because of a very famous Taylor Swift um, era's tour. Um, but this is the bundle that I used to create these really cute friendship bracelets. So we're going to show these, um, today and how those came together. But really what I'm excited about though, like that's kind of the design of the card, but on the design of the card, but really what I'm excited about is there is a secret pocket in this card and I made a bookmark for this one and a little tassel. I made that tassel. I may even show you guys how to do that. But um, there's a fun hidden pocket in the front of this slimline card. And this is a little keepsake bookmark um, that obviously coordinates back to that card. So we're gonna show how to make the card base itself. Um, but then also some of the ways that we've dressed this card up. This is a great format for any kind of card for this time of year. Um, just with like the graduation season upon us, a lot of people have weddings and things. So if you're gifting money, a check, or like this, I mean, this is kind of a silly little bookmark, but I thought it was kind of fun. Oh, I love it. I, you know, like, and at our age, it's like, what do you give somebody for a present? Well, I don't know. Like everybody, a lot of people our age, you know, they don't need a lot of things or want a lot of things. But if you know somebody who's like a reader and just wants, or a kid who likes reading, a, a fun handmade bookmark, I don't know, it's I think it's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is thoughtful and it's handmade and it's it's like, it's a handmade gift with a handmade card. What's what's not to love about that? So. And that's that's not the card I'm making for Colin's friends. It's a different no, one that that's you'll not, see in a bit. Do you want me it's to show the same that basic one? concept. If you want, Do you want to. Me to show that card? All right, sure. let's show that real quick. So this is actually um, the card in Sycamore High School colors. There we um, go. This actually, I'm going to show what bundle this comes from. This comes from World's Greatest. This is also part of our most recent release. It creates these really cool trophies, great for like sporting cards. This is showing up a little more green. This is actually very yellow in real life. Um, but yeah, so I did like an evergreen card base. There is that hidden pocket that we're going to show you how to make. And then there's a bunch of cash just stuffed in that pocket. And I made a little um, little graduation tassel actually out of DMC thread that we use on cards for stitching sometimes. And so the tassel um, is just a fun little, this one's a little bit bigger, but it's a fun little embellishment you could add to any card. So this is great. And this is actually, Jennifer, this is super easy to replicate this one. It's yes. um, not a ton of elements, but I think it's impactful. And I mean, obviously, what kid isn't going to love a bunch of cash in a card? I mean, that's probably the, the most impactful part <laughs> of the card. And you, the can, kid, but... you could put the year on there, too, with number, the B. You totally could. Yeah. But yeah. Let, I think what's funny is right before we went live, we were like in the back room here. And Greg said to his brother, hey, go get me some cash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's okay. Yeah, so Kathy was Nick, asking for the Nick. leftover cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, anybody wants a card from Greg? I put cash in every card, so no. <laughs> uh-huh. I've gotten uh, cards from you. There's yeah. been no cash. <laughs> oh, um, it's and I have an IOU. So, yeah. all right. Well, let's, let's get started with the card and, base. Um, yeah, do you want me to jump into that? Let's jump into the card base. So, um, I'm going to be using Juniper as my card base. There's different dimensions I've seen people use for, um, for slimline cards. This is a nice dimension. It's the footprint of the card is three and a half inches.
by eight and a half. So it's using the full short length of a standard size card. And um, so I am going to just off camera, um, I'm going to cut this down to uh, seven inches. Um, Can you make sure? So I, I cut that down to Violet. seven inches seven. by eight and a half. And are you, what color are you using? Is that midnight? Blueberry? Blue. Jennifer's got a... So I'm going to... Um, it's blueberry, sorry. Score that. No, you're good. I scored this now at three and a half. Um, and um, that's going to give me my card base. So okay. this is a nice size... Slimline. I'm going to do mine a little different. So what oh, I do when I make it. a card just like the same size as his, I just take an eight and a half by 11 piece and I score it right down the middle at five and a half. You could do it either way, either way. And I, yeah, this is blueberry. Sorry, I was muted there for a moment because Lila's supposed to come home from school and then get ready to go to dance and nobody's here to help her. So I'm hoping that she can figure it out. Oh, no. <laughs> so I was trying to text. Oh, I... So now I've got this folded eight and a half by five and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just trim off quarter inch strips till I get down to three and a half wide. The reason I do this is I like to keep those strips for different techniques. And oh, yeah. I know I'm more likely to use those than I am just some awkward size. So this is, this is what I'm doing. And I've got my Tim Holtz rotary trimmer here. It's three and a half wide, right? It is three and a half wide. Oh, that's smart. So you want to keep on the strips. Yep. For other so I do this a lot so, just because I, I know I'll use these either for stacked dimension behind a sentiment strip or to do a straight background, but you could do it the way you did it too. Either way works. So now I have a Yeah. No, and, I, and then I have, um, I have just this panel that's left. And what's nice is the panel that's left, it's like four inches wide. And so if you're doing like an inlay panel on like a traditional uh, four and a quarter by five and a half card, you can also perfect. prop that down. So there's, yeah. So don't throw this scrap away. That's a nice chunk of paper right yes. there. So, yep. um, and then what I also cut out was a two and a quarter, or sorry, two, two and three quarters by eight and a half panel. Okay. And what I wanted to do is really exaggerate the, like, the, the upward, just how long this card is, right? So I wanted to have that crop on that white panel run the full length of it just for that extra drama and then the next part is actually um so let's go ahead actually and get our this white panel attached to the card and obviously everything we're doing today is totally variable um oh thanks for writing out sticky notes that's helpful um so i am going to glue this down and i'm just using quarter inch use whatever adhesive you like to glue panels down with i'm going to use at concord knife we have this quarter inch double-sided adhesive use a runner adhesive if you want um and then um just gonna glue this down real quick to my card base and i'm just gonna eyeball this because I'm on live camera and that is always stressful. Um, I got mine a little off center there, but you get the idea. It's gonna be right up and down the center and that's really gonna exaggerate how tall this card is. Um, this is also a great, this is a great size that fits in like a traditional business envelope. Um, it is very, um, like it's the right dimensions to fit in that. So it's very easy to mail with an envelope that you probably have around the house. Yep, so just a letter and envelope. Je Jennifer's die cutting something. <laughs> I did, I uh, wanted to add some texture to that background, to the white panel. So I did the double oh, stripe nice. just to, before oh, I glued I it that. down. I don't know why, because I can't it. get enough of this stinking die. I use it in every live with you. Have you noticed that? Oh, that die sweet. is, it's a very versatile die. That one's been super popular because it's very just versatile. It's a great I, backdrop. I love that it's two lines. It just makes it yes. a little special, I guess, you know? Um, okay, so then 
what we're going to do now is create the pocket for the front of this. And the pocket is going to be, um, you're going to start with a three and a half inch by, by six inch panel. So I'm going to cut that off screen here real quick. Um, three and a half inch oh, wait. by six inch. And you'll see that that is wider. That's actually the width of the card right now. But what we're gonna do is score these um, these little tabs. And this is all variable. You can change these up. This is what I'm using today on this card. You can shorten it. Like the footprint of that po um, pocket can be whatever dimensions you want it to be. This is what I'm using on the cards I've made today. Um, and I'm gonna score that at three eighths inch. So one, two, three. And then I'm gonna score that. And then I'm gonna flip that around and score again at three eighths inch. This is a, I'm doing three eighths inch because a lot of runner adhesives and the double sided adhesive I'm using today is, um, is a quarter inch. So I just found like a three eighths inch, three eighths inch tab is very, um, very easy to use. And then I'm going to score at the bottom um, at a half inch, because this is going to leave me with a two and three quarter inch by five and a half inch panel. Um, and the last thing I need to do to this pocket before I glue it down is actually just notch the bottom corners here. And again, um, and I like to skew these just a little bit, like give it a little bit of a splayed edge. Um, so I don't cut it, you can see I cut it not square. Um, I just found that like the, the little flaps seem to tuck in a little nicer underneath um, when we glue it down. So notch out those corners. And here you've basically got your pocket. Um, and the last thing we need to do now is just glue it down. But I'm gonna fold these tabs in real quick and show you how when we glue that down, we're going to put glue on each of those tabs. And then when we glue this down, it's going to give this effect right here. Okay. So we now have this illusion, like it's still maintaining that long panel on um, that long white panel across this card base. But what I'd like to do is you can see this seam here. And so kind of the trick of the cards today that we'll be playing with is to hide that seam so that it gives the illusion that that is just one long solid panel. So um, let me go ahead real quick and add some adhesive strips to my pocket tabs here. Um, and I'm just again using this quarter inch adhesive. And So I'm just going to, how's it going for you, Jennifer? It's going good. I am going to, I'm going to make my pocket shorter because I'm going to put a gift card okay. in mine. But this, so I'm doing the Wait. same thing as Greg, but I'm going to, I need a shorter pocket because if I put a gift card in this, it would slide down in. So I need oh, to yeah, cut it yeah. to be, I want my gift card to stick out can be a small pocket, in fact. Let's see, let me think about this. I want it to be, eh. I'm thinking. I don't like thinking, Greg. Thinking <laughs> live is not easy. But that Maybe is true. Whatever you're putting in that little pocket, you do wanna just, like, I guess think about whatever the pocket is going to be used for. Yes. And then, yeah, you, you can adjust the height of this however you want, um, and, um, so I'm pulling the little backing off of my adhesive here. And then what I'm going to do is get this cornered the best I can to, let's see, making sure I'm putting the pocket, you want to make sure you put the pocket on the right side. You don't want an upside down pocket. It needs to have stuff <laughs> stay in there. Um, but I'm going to corner like something I corner that. Uh, that is something I, I, I'm not even going to say that that's something I actually did though, but, um, <laughs> Okay, so I, the easiest way to do that is just to get two of the flaps folded underneath, and then I cornered it with this panel, the white panel, and then I just taped the other one down. 
And this is it. This is the card base um, that you could use this over and over. And like Jennifer's doing, she's adjusting the height of her pocket. Um, but for mine, like I'm, I've created this this bookmark. And so seeing that bookmark overlay on top of that, you can see that um, it's going to create a nice little pocket for that bookmark to stick in there. And then, um, and so, yeah. Um, yeah, people are excited to see the one with the gift card because there are a lot of gift cards we give out, right? So, yep. So this, um, I, I did my pocket just like Greg's. But his was six inches tall. I cut mine to two and a half inches tall. So I just thought that would Sweet. be a good size for a gift card. But it's the same awesome. thing. So I'm going to put yep. my pocket up here. Awesome. So, and, I'll um, and that's the other thing, too, is you can play with the placement, yeah, of where you're going to put the pocket. And that's awesome. So see, because Jennifer is disguising hers now with an with extra panel piece. there. That's but perfect. Um, make mine longer. So now I'm going to show you guys um, how we're going to um, hide the, on mine. While, while Jennifer just keeps going with hers, um, I was going to show how or what where I got this sentiment from. This is actually from Just Amazing dies. These came out a while ago. Um, there's two sentiments in here, um, just for you and you are amazing. What, what I like about these is it has the, the actual just die cut letters that you can use on their own. There is like this, um, this fallout piece that you can use. Let me put that against the black. There's this fallout piece that you can use to piece those letters back in. But there is also with both of these sentiments, another die that cuts out um cuts out like a, a shadow piece essentially so so what i've done here on this card is i have used the shadow piece in eucalyptus and then i used white to cut out the you are amazing and then um i'm going to swap this out because i've already started to assemble um this one off camera but um what i'm gonna do is just to create a little more dynamic effect here is i've used grapefruit and honeysuckle and um then i'm gonna finish this off and i'm just using some of our liquid adhesive here um jennifer that is looking so good um so i'm just applying a little bit of liquid adhesive so I, um, you, I did an extra part. piece on top to hide the pocket. That's great. So it still gives that illusion that like there's not a pocket back there, right? Like, yep. And so that's the whole idea is just to, um, just to kind of create that illusion. So here I'm going to put this, I've cut this out in four colors. Um, so I'm just piecing this back in with lemongrass. Um, I do need two little... I kept, I kept my little A fillers. Uh, I'm gonna stick those in. So he's They're using not. the amazing sentiment and I'm using the just for you and they, they come together, you said, right? Yeah, it's, it's in the same set. And they're, they're actually great for things like this. Like just for you, perfect yep. for gifting anything. Gift card, money, check, uh, handmade bookmark. Um, so you want to so, see something you want to see something pathetic yeah <laughs> look at you what, i found these in my stash earth? i found these in okay. my stash i did well, these so at the lake done. jennifer's done <laughs> she has made all all of hers i'm over here just still piecing <laughs> mine together uh um, jennifer you got issues no, I did these a long time ago, and I just, ha I forgot I had them, and That's I have awesome, more. Though. So now, you, so now <laughs> you've got, um, you've got so many cards ready now um, yep. to go. These are a great size. They're very large. They're great on a standard size card, too, if you're just looking for a really impactful die cut statement. Um, but it's great on this card because it actually runs 
nicely within the width of the card bases that we're working with today. And, um, and here, I'm going to just finish piecing mine together here. Um, this is an avocado. So I wanted to create a little bit of similar to Jennifer and like a lot of the ones she just showed, like where she just used different colors and um, pieced them back in. I find dye piecing really, really therapeutic. Oh, 100%. <laughs> um, Somebody asked about I think my colors. It's my go to. I, I agree. Yeah. Um, my colors are blueberry, harbor, and I did harbor for like a little trim under here, a mat. Cute. Then grapefruit, sorbet, and then there's some nectar for this. But can I show you? I use nectar so much that the only pieces of nectar I have left in my stash are these two pieces. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Well, we need to get you some more, probably. It's it's a sad <laughs> it's a sad situation, but that's okay. But um, I did I nectar it. for the background, and then um, this is sorbet, yeah. and I'm gonna add grapefruit in in a bit. Nice. And this is really these come together super easy. They're um, like once you have that little map of the this these pieces, um, and you just get that glued down, it's really, really easy to glue all the pieces in, um, all the letters, individual letters after that. So, um, and you can see on both mine and Jennifer's cards, same, same die set and the same exact method of assembly. And they're very similar widths, so they both work really nicely on helping to conceal that pocket, the, um, the seam of where that pocket is on the card. And I just kind of eyeballed it. I just moved this around until I liked the position of it and until it concealed that pocket. Um, so now that Jennifer and I are kind of here at this point, is it, should I go forward now and talk a little bit about these bracelets? Sure, sure. All right. I made, okay. I'm just going to play so, with some flowers while you do that. Awesome. You play with some flowers. I'm going to play with some <laughs> bracelets. Um, and then let's go ahead. Perfect. All right. I'll keep this on camera here just so we can kind of see. Let me get my hands back on there. So yeah, there we go. All right. Um, so this die set is, I had mentioned earlier, it allows you to make, Jennifer made some really cute cards actually with this in a video um, as, like leading up to our April 9th release. Um, these dies are really fun. They cut out those cute beads, like I mentioned earlier, um, that are like the those friendship bracelet bead and friendship bracelet, bracelets that you can customize with any name. Um, but what we're gonna use today on this card is just the ones that are like the knotted, um, Oh, Pamela Bear said, this is why um, summer camp is going to be so great. Uh, I, I'm so look, excited for summer camp, too. Look at that uh, little tray of all those goodies. Yeah. You I like, love it. This is a really, it's just a little porcelain, uh, I think it's a watercolor thing. Yeah. It, it looks like it has little things for your paintbrushes to nest in. But, it's um, dreamy. But dreamy. it's great for organizing, and um, I think we got it on an Amazon or something, but... Um, this is basically like, we just cut out a bunch of components in the colors that we're going to be using. And, um, and then the fun part is you just get to play like with, with color and just try out different color combinations and things like that. So I have cut things out in, um, the colors of this card. So I've got honeysuckle and I just kind of followed a little bit of a spectrum, honeysuckle, grapefruit. Um, lemongrass, avocado, juniper, and eucalyptus. eucalyptus. I think it's kind of a fun, playful. Yes. Um, you got some mixes of some warm and cool colors in there. That's if you're just looking for a random color combination, choose some random cool and warm tones and they can come together really nicely. So then I'm just going to take one of these cut out. Um, these are in the set. There's two sizes you can make of uh, you can see I have like a, a thin one, and then there's also a thicker bracelet. I'm just going to show you how to assemble. The assembly is the same for thin or thick bracelets. But I'm going to, instead of using liquid adhesive, I mean, you can on this, but I would heavily recommend some sort of just 
runner adhesive or double stick um, type of adhesive because it's going to be much easier to assemble once you have um, once you have all of that on there. Um, so I'm just going to apply that real quick. Everybody's dying over that tray. <laughs> I'll, I'll find the link for it. I don't. It's um, it's it's fun. It's very nice and perfect for little tiny embellishments or little tiny die piecing things. Perfect for this set because um, best friends vibes. Best friend vibes because there's so many little pieces that you're wanting to have multiples of. <laughs> so it's a great little tray for that. Um, Maybe we should, maybe Concord and Knight should help come out with some sort of cute little tray like that. Since I we have so many would, die piecing things now. I think <laughs> we would all love that. For sure. Um, and then this is just, this is really simple, but you just, it's just basically layering these up. And um, these are a little bit, these little individual chevron shapes, they are, you can see it's like a little bit bigger than this strip of paper. Yes. Um, so I'm trying to, there we go. It's coming back into focus. I think there's a lot going on on my screen. Um, so then I'm just gonna keep layering these up and I'll just show you a few of these because this is not the most exciting thing, but it is very fun. If you're somebody who likes paper piecing, stitching, all those kinds of things, this really feels that, um, that crafting space for me where I like to um, I don't know. I just like something that's kind of repetitive and Same. I can, I can still play around with the colors. Um, and I can play around with, I'm just going in order for this right now, but you can see on the card, like this one, I, I played around with like a little bit of a different pattern there. So, and that's, what's kind of fun to me is, is just playing around with pattern and it's very nostalgic, very reminiscent of those, um, those classic knotted, um, friendship bracelets and it's really it has these little tiny like cut details in there that make these look like little individual knotted um uh knotted threads so can you hold it up to the camera and, yep can you hold it up a little bit so they can see oh, the, the detail in it see the detail i yeah, love that i want to see if i don't know if it's gonna zoom in on it looks uh, so there we go. realistic there yep yeah, so you can see it just, it's really, and it's, what's great is you cut out multiples at once. Um, this is the die used to cut it out. So it cuts out five of the same color at a time. So you're not having to run that thing through like a bajillion times. Just cut it out like in four or five colors and you're good to go. Um, so it, it actually isn't a ton of prep work. I actually saw... If Kathy Zilski is still in here, I actually saw her live um, after it was live. I, I saw it like an hour after it ended, but she also did a really cute live yesterday um, with this set as well and really cute stuff. So um, I, that's I love the card she made. It was so cute. So cute. Um, let me see if this will... Guys, I'm new to this camera there thing. You go. There we go. So you can see um, I've got all six of these colors on here and I would just repeat that all the way down. And then that's, I actually, for this card, just created, um, I created two of those bracelets um, and I just cut them in half. So I'm, I'm minimizing the amount of work or, and I guess maximizing the work <laughs> that I put into it. So I made one thin one and one thicker one, cut them in half, and then that accents the top and bottom of my card. And then all you need to do is with these pieces here, these are what create the little tied off end of your card. And those just layer together perfectly. Um, let's see, you can see, um, let me grab one of those and show you how those knots um, are actually the exact same size. So if you align those and you take the one, there's the ends that are kind of crazy and then the ends that are more like structured and kind of come together. The ones that come together are the ones that are going to attach 
um, to your bracelet. And then you let the ones that are kind of crazy be on the outside because they mimics kind of like a loose looking um, tied off friendship bracelet. So um, those are the elements that I, of this card. I wanted to show you also just how I adapted this set to make this bookmark. So is that okay if I go into that, Jennifer? Or did yeah. You... Yeah. And if people want to or see you... a closer look at forming those friendship bracelets, I linked in the description below um, the video where I show a bunch of examples using it. Perfect. So it, perfect. this is just another great use of it. Yeah, that's perfect. So, um, so yeah, you can see those fun little details on there, the little stitches there. So, so much fun. The little giftable aspect of this for that I came up with was I just took, um, I just cut out two of these base pieces on here. I attached um, my little threads up there. But what I did was I snipped those the ends off of those because the, the tassel on this bookmark actually is going to be the thing that mimics the end of that bracelet. And it yes. is obviously very exaggerated. This is a quite, quite a large tassel. If you're mailing that, you'd want to make a smaller one. Um, but what I did, you can see here that my bookmark actually runs a little longer. So I cut out two of these and they just nested perfectly. And I just continued that and snipped that off. And you might be wondering where I got that um, bookmark from. So yes, I, actually, I love this. I actually used our swatch book dies. So I know a lot of you, when we released our new color last year, a lot of you bought these, um, or if you were part of our In the Classroom color series, see, yep, Jennifer's got a whole bunch. Um, I just was like thinking like, oh, I should make a bookmark. And then the thought came to me that the swatch book dies, it's pretty much like a perfect bookmark size. So, um, so not only is it great for swatching, it's also, a great bookmark for a handmade bookmark. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. You could also, if you didn't want to go to the trouble of making an entire friendship bracelet, this cuts out six um, identical rectangles here. And you saw Jennifer's swatch book there. Um, it just, you could just line up a bunch of colors of cardstock in like a, a pattern or something, you know? So there's different ways that, um, you can use that to create bookmarks. Um, so let me see real quick. I'm just grabbing something. And you did, <clears throat> so then, you did multicolor, uh, right? Oh yeah. Multicolor on the- Stamping. Oh, on yeah, the yeah. stamping I did, yes. Yeah. I just loaded, um, I just took the, everyone deserves a friend like you, which is a nice basic sentiment, right? Um, cause I feel like in this case, you really want the friendship bracelet to, to be the thing that stands out, but I thought it might be fun. So it just loaded that into my Misty with my bookmark. Um, before I assembled it all, I stamped this down and I just followed the same color pattern. So I went eucalyptus, juniper, avocado, lemongrass, grapefruit, and honeysuckle. So it just kind of ties that all together, really playing into that color spectrum rainbow and i think it's fun kind of adds a little did, extra something did you use and, mini the little ink <clears throat> cubes to do that um i actually so what i used was um was the um i i taped it off with like post-it tape gotcha. or masked okay. it off and then i gotcha. i just had my large ink cubes it would be easier for sure with ink cubes but i used my the regular size ink pads and I just masked off the word I wanted, inked it down, pulled the post-it tape off, um, or post-it notes if that's all you've got. And it was really easy then to, this is also very easy sentiment to isolate the, the letters because it's very, it's a very structured, Right. <laughs> um, everything falls in line. So I just masked off and um, that's how I did that. That bookmark is awesome. It is just awesome. Um, Nancy said, ask Greg who made the paper bouquet card with the wide plaid dye background on the website. It's wonderful. Oh, um, that would have been Robin, our creative director. She's a mm -hmm. phenomenal card maker. And that's 
Robin, most days, all day, every day is, is making cards <laughs> with our new products. So, um, lots of fun though. This bookmark, um, I just thought, you know, like what's a, what's something that's not, I don't know, money or whatever, but like that you would gift somebody. And I thought just a cute yeah. handmade bookmark. I did. I followed Jennifer's, um, I, I've seen Jennifer's stuff enough to know you got to <laughs> double, it. triple up yep. that card stock. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, I actually used honeysuckle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera here, but I did honeysuckle, grapefruit, and then white. And you can actually oh. in person see that subtlety. And that's just one of those cool things where it's like, it's a design element now. I could have stacked up yeah. three white pieces of card stock, but I was like, oh, what if I put two other colors? And it just kind of makes it, a little stepped up, a little special. So, um, for sure. So yeah. So and that's somebody that. asked, and then if, I just somebody asked if you could laminate it. Yeah, you definitely could laminate that before you oh, add the sure. tassel to the top. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, yep. I saw somebody um, say that yeah. the hardest part for them is choosing colors. Um, if you struggle yeah. with choosing colors, I recommend just going to Concord and Knight's website and just searching through all of the card products and the card examples that they have because they really are good at coming up with really unique color combinations and I can it's very inspiring. Even if you're using other products, go look Thanks. through there. They do a great job with color. I think they're Thanks. that is the of all the stamp companies, definitely the number one site for going for unique color combos that are just inspiring so thanks jennifer my... yeah we we love color we are yes. um, super passionate about it and so oh my gosh okay oh. let's see that you okay that so is... i was playing while you were playing so i love it i haven't i haven't glued it all down yet but i thought i'd show this is the primrose primrose garden primrose garden i think yep and From, it has an outline I, a few months ago yep um, somebody asked in the comments earlier if uh, Concord and Ninth's dies need to be cut apart. They do not need to be cut apart. These come separated. But this one has all of these dies here that allow you to make a little banner, a background. And basically, if you see this die, it does piercing. It's like a roadmap of where to glue all the die cuts on. And here's a card I did a while ago using that Oh, set. I love it. So I linked below uh, to the video that where we talk about this card. It's a shaped card and I use the extras on the inside, but it uses this die. So I decided to pull out this old die set and use those flowers to decorate my card. So I still have my gift card in there, but I'm gonna start adding um, these little pieces in here. So, you know, you can change this up. I love how the friendship feel of his card and how bright it was. And I thought I would do something um, this is going to go to uh, the, the lady who works the front desk at my daughter's school. She seems oh, to handle everything it. in the building. So I think this is going to go to her. So I just like to kind of stick my die cuts where I want them to be and then go and squirt a big glob of adhesive behind it. And I have my gift card tucked in there and I'm making sure that I, my gift card will still be able to be tucked in. But all of these little die cuts here are from this older Primrose set so there we go so it even hides the pocket a, even more that is a stunning super stunning card so the same also, concept and like i love the oranges and blues i mean for those who are asking about color theory things i mean we're talking about like a complementary color and it's very so start there with like i mean this the, those are like design color theory like and and it's made for a super stunning card. I love that. Um, Jennifer, somebody was asking about the, cause I, I incorporated these little tassels onto these. Yes, um, show them. Could I show how to make that really quick? I think it was Joan Lucht was asking about that, how to make the tassels. They're really sure. easy to make. I, I have never demonstrated this. I made the, my, this is the first time I've ever made a tassel. Um, nice. If you've ever made a palm, a pom pom, it's a similar, similar, uh, let's see, it's a similar uh, process, but this one is more full here that I did on the bookmark because I wanted to be a little more dramatic. But then this one I did in Colin's school colors and obviously really cute for a graduation card to add a little tassel. 
Um, and it did this in yellow and green. But um, I will show real quick, um, and hopefully I can demonstrate this well. I'm not an expert at this. So those in the comments, uh, and there are a lot of YouTube tutorials out there on this. That's how I learned how to do it. But I'm going to show you real quick. I'm just going to grab some DMC thread here. Um, and if you're like, if you ever bring like your cardstock swatches of whatever colors you like, DMC has, I mean, we've been able to color match to almost everything um, with ours. And I can tell Jennifer, if I give you these numbers, could we add it to the, if people are yes. interested in the colors yes. that I used on my card, if they want to know what those colors were that I matched, um, I'll get those to Jennifer and they, they can put those in the description. The, yep, um, we'll add them later. Description there. Okay, perfect. I'll use these two colors just because they contrast. Um, it's kind of an Oceanside and kind of a Sorbet color. Um, Love it. Let's go ahead and I'm going to just, and this is something that, again, just like the size of the pocket, this is something else that's super variable. You can do multiple colors. You can do single color on these little tassels. But um, it's another great use for, like, if you've done stitching on cards and you have a lot of this, or if you do anything with this DMC thread, um, you can, um, I don't know, it's just another another use for these in these great colored DMC threads. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually pull a few link links of this out. Uh, I don't know about. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna pull about. Um, of course, because I'm live, it went. I got it in a little bit of a tangle. Um, I'm pulling about two to three feet off. Um, okay of this thread and then so i've got it here just a bunch of this and then um i actually just used my um swatch die that was the thing that i i wrapped this around um, oh smart just like because you want something that's or here this is the one i have available so um so I'll just use this one. This is from my swatchbook dies. It's about an uh, inch and a half. Again, you just, however long you want your tassel to be, that's just find something that's about that width. And then I'm just going to wind this around and around and around. Because <laughs> oh. this is, okay, so this is going to create the, and this is similar when you're making pom-poms. You would tie that off in the middle, cut it. Um, so I just wrapped that around several times. Um, and then I also need real quick, um, I'm going to cut one other little length. That's about, I don't know, a foot or so. However long you want that tassel to hang, you want to tie that off in a knot. So I'll tie mine off at about, I don't know, that's about two inches, right? So I just did a little loop. And then I've got the two little pieces here. This is what you're going to tie around all that, all that stuff I just wound up. Okay. Okay. So this isn't going to be a very full tassel, but um, I'm just going to pull this off now off of my little backer here. I am going to now um, trim all the little ends of this. This is the first and probably last time, guys, that I will be demonstrating a tassel on live camera. Um, <laughs> so, so now, and there's probably an easier way to do that. I probably could have tied that on already. I did not do that. So I, this is, um, but this will work. Um, give me a sec here. I just missed two little loops. So now um, I'm just going to take this little bunch of thread that I okay. have. And right in the middle there, I'm going to tie, do you guys know a square knot? It's left over right with those oh. two tails of that. All right. Is that, so left over right. And then this is so much easier to do when I'm not teaching it. <laughs> okay. Left over right. Oh, and then right over left with those. 
And then these little tails of this are going to just become part of the little tassel. Okay, so you don't have to trim them off or anything. I need to watch. So now I've got... <laughs> okay, so I've got basically, oh, basically, Jennifer, what I've done. I see. Basically what I I've see done it. is I've just... Yeah, so I just basically created... Um, a loop up there. That. And this this is like a really basic tassel. It You can see, though, that it doesn't want to like stay together. And what keeps tassels together is this little, there's a little, uh, a little bit of thread that you wrap around that because you want to keep that grouping together. This was kind of fun. Um, I did it on this one as well. Um, and this part's a little tricky. I'll show you real quick. I'm going to do this in a contrasting color. So this is going to be in that sorbet. I'm just going to cut another foot or so of the thread. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather all those tassel threads and you'll have time to like finesse those a little bit in the end. But um, what I'm going to do, this is where it gets a little tricky, um, is create a little loop like this, okay? And, and have some length coming off here. Um, and then you wrap this around like five times or so, okay? With that loop on the bottom down there. So one, okay. two, three, four, five-ish times, okay? All right, okay. so this is what it looks like now, guys, okay? So I've done that. And then I've got that little tail, right, up here from the original yeah. thing. This now goes down through, because what I'm doing now is basically tying this off. It's going to go down through the little rabbit hole there. This is so much harder than teaching my children to tie their shoes. Um, <laughs> so, okay. And then once I have this thread down through the rabbit hole, I just pull up on this, this thread that was coming out the other side. And you just kind of tug on those oh, together. Oh, okay. So That's then you can see here, guys. Um, it's it's kind of finished off. If this was in the same color, you'd want that to be in the same color of your tassel, because or one of the colors if you did a multicolor, because it's oh. going to now become incorporated into the tassel. Look at and that! And then, ah, kind of fun, huh? So then, yeah. um, and then I don't know. A tassel is kind of a fun little. I've seen them on in jewelry and. I, um, I, I'm going to thread this now with a needle through here. You, you don't have to worry about this part, but um, just to make that super clean. Um, and again, I would be doing this all in the same color, but I see. Yeah. then you just take that needle down through the tassel and then you just trim. I'm going to trim it off camera here. All right. So there you can see it as just a little tassel. Um, you can probably come up with ways that that would be quicker or easier, or you could there we go. come up with something that's a little more simple, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, Jennifer, yours looks like really professional. Mine's... Well, no, what I, I cheated at the end there. I just put a little dab of glue there and trimmed that off. Nice. Hope for the best. And that is perfect for making a card. Yeah. It it doesn't have to be like you can you can like use glue and stuff because it's an element. It's like an embellishment on your card and stuff. Yeah. So it's not a functional tassel, right? It's like an it's an embellishment. So um, kind of fun. It's just a another way to dress up a card. Um, and so I don't. That's so that's. These are the cards. I um, here I've done. You, the you are amazing is covering up the scene here. This is from the world's greatest bundle that we showed earlier, and I just used this cool trophy. This is so great for um, congratulations or Mother's Day, Father's Day, because you have like world's greatest mom, dad, kid, friend. Um, we used the die that says you did it, um, which has a base piece too. So the base piece was cut out in evergreen. And then, and then in white, there's also one on here that says hooray. So 
that's and basically what you want to do is find you don't have to buy any of the stuff necessarily if you have things on hand that are large die cut sentiments or large die cut elements that you would use on a card all of those types of things would be wonderful to create this hidden pocket um, in a card so um and so yeah. I did, I used that same set with the, um, the world's greatest. I did that and I made one that was personalized for my son that said the goat because he, we argue who's the goat. Kathy calls me the goat, but Colin calls himself the goat. <laughs> so we have this goat competition. So, um, in fact, the text thread between my son and my husband and I is titled, um, a doctor and two goats. Because Ken has his PhD, and we tell him he's a fake doctor. We're just joking. So, anyways, <laughs> so that is our that's our um, a joke around here. So I did that that trophy set for um, uh -huh. for uh, personalized cards. You can put somebody's name or the year on it. Lots you can do. Somebody wanted to see eggplant. That's eggplant. It's a dark uh -huh. purple. Somebody was asking that in the comments. Very dark. So. Anyway, yep. Yeah, no, that's a, that's great. So Greg's it's two dark, cards, beautiful. it's beautiful, and it'll it kind of pulls back a little bit. But uh, so Greg's two cards had that long pocket, and one he put a bookmark, and one he put money. You could put a check in there too, and then I just made the same pocket. If you come back and watch again, um, if you if you come back and watch watch his measurements, I made the same pocket, but mine was only two and a half inches tall so that I could put a gift card into it. So, you know, you can change it up to put whatever you want into that pocket. You could even do, make some real friendship bracelets and tuck those into the pocket too. That would be fun. So fun. So, that would be really so fun. So many things you can do with that. Like, oh, that. So fun. So, so really fun. Yeah, like we've got some fun different cards. Oh, my colors look very different. Um, I'm going to switch back to my overhead. Er Erica said better. Colin is goat adjacent. <laughs> or isn't a baby goat yeah, a kid? Goat. Yeah. Or goat by associate or goat by relation or by association. Goat junior. <laughs> goat junior. Because his mom's the goat. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, um, so let me switch to mine. Here. Well, this is fun. Hopefully, I hope oh, people learn switch. something today. I, I, yes. It's always interesting. I'm usually a hype man, so like today being in instructor mode was just, oh. uh, it was different. And I enjoyed it. I had fun. Hopefully people had a good time following along, watching what we did. I think we came up with three really cool cards. So. And you definitely could do this pot, hidden pocket thing in a, any card size. But I think the slim line is fun for, especially like for the money and the bookmark, right? And all you yeah. need is a letter size envelope for it. So I think I have... Yep. A letter, here's a letter size envelope so you can see what it looks like. So it fits in there no problem yeah, so, at all. And, and totally mailable. And so what a fun, and, and I love the pocket because like you can absolutely in your card there, you can totally see, and in my card here, like it's obvious that there is something in that pocket. Like, yeah. I mean, it kind of looks silly having this tassel come out, but it, it's the thing that lets them know there's something in there. And here there's obviously money in yours. There's obviously gift card. And what I like is after everything is taken out of that pocket, look how beautiful those cards yeah. still are. Like it still looks your good. card yeah. is still totally finished card. And that's, what's kind of fun about it. Cause yep. um, when I was playing around with this concept earlier this week, I was like, well, when you take stuff out, it looks empty, and, but but it doesn't need to. Like the whole idea is like still have it look like a finished card when yeah. it's done, and then um, for sure, and then yeah, lots of fun. Wonderful, and the tassel thing. I love the tassel thing, and I am going to have to incorporate that onto a card somehow. So that's my mission. You know, in fact, you know what it would awesome. be cute with? It would be cute with um, your your recent die set. It's the flowers with the the wrap that goes around it yes yes you can tie um, and have a little oh tassel gosh, i can't remember the name off the top of my head but yes that would be really cute to have a tassel incorporated yeah. into that and i'm seeing sure. that kind of in like fashion and other things and it's always yeah. been a part of like um purses and stuff like that but like kind of a fun just different element and a lot of us just have 
that embroidery floss, the DMC floss kind of sitting around. And it's like just yeah. another fun use. So. For sure. It'd be fun to also put some like metallic thread in it or have metallic thread yeah. be what's wrapped around it. So I will definitely do that in a video yeah. and so you can get, um, see that in action again. That was awesome. Thank you. I learned something yeah, new. I can go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> My can goal go is to, to learn yes, one new thing time. a day and then I can go to bed. So I learned. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um. I saw Betsy Green said Lila would have fun making tassels, and she yes. I, did you know the little um, little crocheted hearts that I, the one that I got from her? I yes. have it hanging on my desk. I should take a picture and send it to you. But um, she could make <clears throat> tassels too with the crochet stuff because you could make bigger ones with yeah. yarn. You're gonna be making them at the lake. Oh yeah, with yarn for sure. Yeah, somebody said that I'll be making tassels now at baseball games. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> And they'll all be for the college graduation cards that I have to make using your design. I'm excited. Yeah, if you want, I I only charge, I'll let you know my hourly rate if you want me to make a bunch. Um, yeah, Greg is hiring out now. I'm hiring out for um, graduation cards, wedding cards, baby showers, whatever. Greg has a, enough kids at home oh. to keep them busy. He doesn't have time for this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have too many kids. I just, I have, <coughs> I talk about this all the time, but I have a preschooler. I have twins in first grade, a seventh grader in middle school and a freshman in college. So there is just never a dull moment. Hey, Laura Bass is there um, in the chat. Um, but yeah, so never a dull moment. And we always think that we're always excited for summer. We're like, oh, this will be so good, you know? And then I'm like, no, summer, now we have to keep everybody busy and entertained. <laughs> and so it's, school's been great. I, I, feel like the first, I feel like the first week of summer, it's great because you're not having to pack a lunch. You're not having to pack a yeah. lunch and we, we drive Lila to school and you don't have to drive her to school. But then after a week, you're like, oh wait, I still have to make them lunch. You know, the, sometimes they do it. Yeah. Lila's getting old enough, but yes. with littles like you have, yeah. it, it's just it's just basically a change of pace. So, I know, uh, and it, and it is kind of nice that everybody can just stay in pajamas a little bit longer. <laughs> like around lunchtime, yes. we're like, all right, it's time to put normal clothes on, day clothes. You know, but uh, it is it's fun. I and it is always like we just are so excited for summer to. I mean, it's just around the corner, which is wild to me because it's still not warm enough here. But as we're winding up the school year, I'm like, um, we always think we never have summer plans, that we're just going to be chill and just like stay home all summer long. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, summer just gets so busy too. So yeah, um, the second we're done with summer camp this year, it's like nonstop for us this summer. So um, so I'm looking well, forward I'm to looking summer forward, camp. And that's, yes. I will just, and then, and then I'm just gonna wing it the rest of the summer. I mean, the summer camp's the only thing that I have to like be really ready for, and the rest of it I'm just gonna wing it. So, <laughs> if you don't know what summer camp is, Greg and Concord and Ninth put on their virtual retreat, but we have he has all the teachers come to Concord and Ninth's headquarters to teach it. So we teach it from there virtually, and it is the most fun of the year. And in fact, I'm coming it's and staying early. So fun at Christina's house so that I can bug Christina and her husband and you and your wife and your kids longer. Awesome. Yeah, we'll just have one big, <laughs> we're just going to get together and let Jennifer annoy us. Jennifer, yes. you couldn't even be annoying if you tried. Oh, so. <laughs> Mike's just made a face. <laughs> that's, no, that's not a challenge either. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like daring you to. Um, <laughs> But, well, thank you yeah. so and much for like doing a lot of this. People are going, yeah, oh, thank you. Okay. I, I'm just like so excited to be here. There's a few questions. Uh, Let me just. Um, oh yeah. It, uh, one question is um, I covered some of those. Uh, are you going to be at Create? People are asking if you'll be at Create. Simon says stamp Create event. Me, me personally, I unfortunately I won't. Concord Knife will be represented there. I did come in 2019 and I wasn't able to make it last year due to massive health issues. I am thankfully healthier this year, 
Um, my wife has been training for the, for those who know what Ragnar is or runners, um, she and a bunch of friends have been training for the Ragnar relay race um, in Zions National Park. And so she has been training since October for this and it's actually the exact same dates at Mother's Day weekend. Um, and same dates though assignments as create. And so I am going to be full dad mode um, and supporting Allison as she does that. But I will miss everybody. I know it's a huge party and I always like, I need to get to the things where everybody's there together. Um, it's been a minute since I've been at one of those big industry events and Simon Says Create is one of those big industry events that's a, a massive party. So I will fun. definitely do everything I can to make it to the next one. But this one's kind of, uh, kind of a bummer. I'm really proud of Allison though. Like that's a- She's a superwoman, I, man. Superwoman, I, I would not be running in a relay race right now up in the mountains of Zions National Park, but she's My husband does that awesome. stuff. She's, you and I just would rather go to Disney. So let's go support the yeah, maybe they could go run a race in Anna, or in uh, Orlando and we will go to Disney World. We'll just we'll go on the, the rides to Disney. Yeah, that'll be perfect. That's my kind perfect. of race. Running uh, running from ride to ride. ride to, that's mm -hmm. my relay. <laughs> it's good exercise. It's a lot of steps you get in there. Um, somebody asked about totally. creating the little letter beads. Um, it's very easy. There's one big stamp that stamps all the alphabet and some extra letters and then one die that cuts them all out very quickly. In my description below, yep. there's a video. Uh, there's a link to a video called um, Personalized Cards. It's in the description below and I show how to do it. It's super easy. You just stamp those letters, one stamp. And then you take one of those dies, either the circle or the squares, and it cuts them all at once. Super, super easy. And somebody asked. And we also, also did multiples. Yes. We did multiples also, like vowels and some of the other S's, R's, other word letters that you might use a lot. So yes. it cuts them all out at once, so it's really easy. Uh, somebody also asked um, if I have a blog post with these color combinations. I have a video, it's linked in the description also. Um, where you can see all these. In fact, some of these were mine. Some of them are like from Christina Warner, Laura Basson, Kathy Zilski, Greg, Tim Holtz. They gave me some color combinations. So it's a bunch of people's color combinations. So it's a good variety. And that video is linked below. Greg, Blue Cat asked, do you have a list of DMC floss that matches the Concord and Ninth colors? I feel like that exists. We've actually recently found them. And I think we might have one. If we don't have it, like um, we'll, we'll post it. But okay. I'm pretty sure we have one. I don't know if it has the newest colors on that yet, so we'll we'll get it all updated. But it is kind of a nice, that might be a nice post, and then we'll have it live somewhere on our website. So okay. um, if you're interested, I mean, yeah. I'm just sorry, I'm distracted by all the people saying that Disney has a marathon. I, I don't know if they got- Christina I don't does know they, that. I, I know, I don't know if they, you guys, I, I'm not a marathon <laughs> runner. I, I run from ride to ride. I, yes. I, I heard that you do that like early in the morning. I'm not even a morning person, so I don't know. I, then I, you don't have energy to go on the in my life. There was a time in my life that I used to run a lot and I used to think that I was gonna become this marathon runner. And then there was also a time in my life where I came to terms that I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not that. <laughs> but all of you who run marathons in the chat, I think you are amazing. That yes. is awesome. Keep Christina's up the good work. <laughs> I know Christina's always trying to get me to go do these marathons, even if it's just walking. And I'm like, listen, if I'm going to Disney World, I'm going to Disney World. I'm not going to walk yeah. around like part of it's along the yeah. like the main road. I don't want to do that. So I, I just make her go with well, me I another think, time. And you go through the parks. You go through the parks. I'd be like, kill her. Well, wait, I want to go on the ride. Uh -huh. You know, like it'd be such a tease. or have a pretzel. Um, there was a. There was a uh, question about how Concord Night started. I'll, I'll give you the quick, just the quick high level. We are almost nine years old, which I think is so fun. Yeah, Sue asked um, how we started Concord Night. I, um, it's amazing to me. We're almost nine years old, which is fun because Concord and Night. But um, uh, I've been in the, the craft and hobby industry on and off throughout my career since like the mid two thousand, the early mid two thousands. Um, worked for various companies within the industry, 
And when I left one of those larger companies, um, I was the product director at that company. And I just really didn't want to be a part of like something so big anymore. Like it, it was a little too corporate feeling. And um, so it was more like, can we do something smaller? So sure. me and um, our co-founder, we left um, to start that nine years ago. I, in fact, yesterday, city the 11th, yesterday was April 10th. That was nine years to the day that I walked out of a corporate office and left wow. to start Concord and 9th. And then August 9th, 2015, we went live. And now it's just me. I'm, I'm the sole owner and we have a team of 10 of us. Um, we've moved offices a few times. We've continued to grow. So it's been fun. And Jennifer's been such an awesome supporter and fan of Comfort Night um, from the very beginning, from those super early days. So it's crazy that it's been nine years. Um, and so we, um, yeah, we're hopefully here to stay and keep growing with everybody. And um, I've told the story. Fun. I've told the story in a live before with you that I remember exactly where I was sitting when I got an email from you showing me some stamp sets that you were coming out with about kindness. I was sitting, um, watching my son and my husband hit, hit um, practice baseball on the baseball field in the park right by us. I remember getting it, seeing, and I just, something about the way you talked, I, and I saw the products, I was like, okay, Yes, I, I need to try this because there's, I just, you know how sometimes you just know, I just knew. So now you can't get rid of me. Thanks. I, I, I'm glad you just knew. I appreciate you knowing. So no, that was, that was really, um, it was, that was kind of a scary time. I mean, you leave your job and stuff yeah. and, and I, I, I was like, I, I had never worked, I've never owned or worked in an e-commerce business. Um, so this was like a whole new endeavor. And mm -hmm. um, thankfully, I knew the industry as far as like products and things like that. But the business model and all of that was just so new and foreign yeah. to me. And thankfully, it's been, I mean, there's been hard days, but there's been so many good days. And really, like my hardest day running Concord and Ninth is better than my best day anywhere else I've worked. So, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's like... Like, I can't even compare um, the experiences. So I'm just so grateful, yeah, to be here. And I, it, it really is one of, I look back on the last nine years, a lot has changed. I've changed yeah. a lot. Um, my family's changed a lot. Um, yeah, it's just been a crazy wild ride. I had two kids back then, now there's five. <laughs> so pretty crazy. <laughs> well, and I, I just... And I remember... <laughs> I, I was so excited. I remember met? the first time we met, like I was, I in made I, all the, my friends. I'm like, you got to meet this guy. It was like, I had to introduce <laughs> you to all the people, all of them. It was, and it was at a wild, lunch. Yeah. It was at a lunch. Yeah. And I think we were in Anaheim or, yeah. yeah, we were down in California at Creativation back when Creativation was in California. And yeah. Yeah. I remember I was like, oh, there's. Jennifer, and then yeah, I talked. I said hi to you and Christina, Christina and, and Laura, um, and then yeah. yeah, Laura, Laura was there, and oh man, Debbie Hughes, I think was in town yeah. for that, and um, that's um, Kelly Taylor, who yeah, yeah. Don, lots of us, yeah, there's uh, I have to find that photo, that table, and yeah. <laughs> that was the one where I'm like towering over yes, everybody because you were the only man there. I was, <laughs> And I'm and I am six foot three inches tall, so I I just tower mm -hmm. over people at that show. <laughs> That's but, all right. It's you're yeah. easy to find. Oh, and yes, Amrita. She said the owners lived. Yes, like our co-founders. We lived on Concord. I lived on Concord Place, and my co-founder lived on Ninth. And so we. That's the name. That's how the name yeah. came together. It was kind of a creative cross section of the co-founders of Concord and Ninth. So, and it's. Yeah, if you've seen our long logo, the, the one that um, looks like that right here, it's kind of a play on a street sign a little bit, um, just yeah. the, the general rectangular shape of it and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, it's just, that's we are all about connecting and 
and things like that. So that's kind of who we are. And so. one more question. Uh, Vicki wants to know, can we still sign up for summer camp? Summer camp, the registration has closed, but um, if it's something you're very interested in, um, we we typically try to over order a little bit. We we try to order almost exact amounts of like right. everybody who's coming because everything in the box is exclusive to summer camp, and so it's not the type of thing where we want to have a few hundred more of everything. <laughs> so, right. but I, we do typically order some extra. So there might be some spots still available. Um, it's not open for registration, but if you want to email events at concordandnineth.com um, or hello at concordandnineth.com. We'll redirect it over there, but we can try to uh, see if there's spots available. I can't guarantee that just because I think we've had some kind of people kind of like fil like filtering in after registration's closed, but if there's a spot, you can try. we would love to fill every, yeah, you can definitely try and for your sake, if you're interested in coming, I hope we still have space and um, but yeah, if you are interested in that, email events at concordandnight.com as soon as possible um, and just see if there's some spots. And um, if not, we do this every year. We are also looking at events in general at Concord and Night, um, like if there's other things we can do that are fun. Um, so we want, that is something we're super passionate about, not just color and products and stuff like that, but also the connections of like For these sure. events and things like that. So, and fun. Yeah. Fun. So best of luck um, trying to get in. I hope I hope you guys can um, make it to camp if, if you're not registered. So awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Greg. And if you had fun today, camp's going to be way more fun even, yeah. than even today. today. Yeah, I'm not the blast, funny one. But... You got to get like Laura in there and some of the others. Then then that's where you have the. Oh, fun. you're pretty funny. I'm yeah. not, I'm not, I'm not that funny, but. I do funny things. I'm not, <laughs> I, I don't know. Not, not I'm, I'm usually like, there's a difference. There's comedians, there's, and then there's clowns and I'm more of the, you know, that's me. I'm the clown, but. And the best and part Batson about the really events, funny. she'll be there. And the best thing about the events is that your brother pops in and it's like two Greg's. He's the, <laughs> the comedy double. Yes. So yes. that's fun. Yeah. Yes. You'll see me clowning around at camp for sure. So wonderful. Well, thanks well, for thank having you me, so Jennifer. much. I'm going to, I get to go cook dinner because my so husband's fun. on the golf course. Oh, what's for dinner? Salmon. Oh, salmon. wow. Yeah. I, I, I I'm like uh, frozen pizza at my house. Maybe if I'm in charge tonight, I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> well, thanks well, again. Thank you so thanks much for having me. Um, everything is linked in the description below. I will, in a few days, put out a shortened, edited replay of this. Um, so if you want to come back and catch just the sizes of things, you can check that out, too. And um, I think that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And thank you, Greg. Yeah, thank you. We'll see thank everybody. Thank you all. Have a good one.